Ten toes down on my ride with the gang. My whole life I've been doing my thing. Get that money and no thing. Anything I do, I do for the game. Ten toes down on my ride with the gang. My whole life I've been doing my thing. Get that money and no thing. Anything I do, I do for the game. Hey, what's, what's going up? on, ladies and Ooh. gentlemen? This your boy, Dub. And this is Nisha. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another bitch today. You feel me? We got the most dangerous moments ever on paternity court. <laughs> paternity yeah. Court. Back at it, man. This is our thing. This is y'all thing as well. So we finna check this out right now. We want to see how dangerous it gets on paternity court. Are you or are you not the father mm -mm. is the question. That's are the you real the father? One. Are you? Let's go ahead and get into this mode right now. Make sure I run up the like, subscribe. Let's go. Most dangerous moments ever on paternity court. You don't have to go through what I go through, okay? You're an adult. I had a guy been homeless with my son mm -hmm. on the street. I told you. Totally oh, sad. Yes, Nothing left to say. Kiss my Make sure they're too loud for you. All sorts of people show up in front of Judge Lake. Take <clears throat> this case, for instance. A jock and his single mother are in paternity court to set the record right of false paternity because a potential child can come in the way of the progress of the alleged father. It's, it's going to be me every month, not him. You know, he, I mean, he's got a future. And I told him before, this is your baby, whatever I got to do. I want him to finish college. I want him to go. I want him to achieve his dream. I never got I mean. to achieve mine, okay? And I want that for him. I was this young lady's age when I had my first kid. So hmm. it's not that I don't understand. Miss Johnston herself was a single mother. And she yeah. brought up her family by jumping leaps and bounds. And grandma sounded quite inspirational in her testimony. Right. However, the baby here was jeopardizing her plan for her promising son. I'm friends with my nephew on his Facebook page, too. Because you got to look sometimes and make sure these young people are doing the right thing. Yes. <laughs> or we may end up in paternity court. But what about the son? I'm dead. He knew what his mother wanted. Still, he messed around he did with what girls. He wanted to do. Still. Exactly when exactly. his mother wasn't around. Even Miss <laughs> Longshore testified that he was a different man when mommy wasn't around. This happened when I was at work, supposedly. So I don't he know what's like going on. And then on top of that, there was another guy tested. How did you even find out about all of this? Saturday, I believe, when I had a day off of work, I was going through my Facebook messages because I don't get them a lot because it's just family and they have my number. But you don't go through a paternity trial <laughs> that easily, do you? Right. Apparently, there was another guy in the picture, and he was Miss Longshore's first pick to father her child. The plaintiff even had evidence to support their claim. I had sex with a different guy, and we thought he was the father, but it turns out he's not. I've written Chevy several times on a DNA test, and he doesn't seem to care. I know you're going to be mad, and I completely understand why, but I need to know who my son's father is. Well, the only reason why I wrote him on Facebook is because nobody, I had no way to contact him. I moved all the way to Ohio. After this, we got to know that the mommy and potential daddy were schoolmates. They had both been messing around with each other for quite a time. Though their equation was nothing but serious, still, it was just about to make a baby. We ended up having sex. She she was coming after this. It's, I was coming ooh. after that. Boy that boy says she was wow. coming after this. Oh, that is what he, wow. Well, you if see. this baby ends up being yours, it's going to be checking on you, too. Right. Hello. Hello. This is what? not laughing matter. Whatever the scenario was, Miss Johnson wasn't man. ready to go easy on the young defendants. Since she had been in her shoes and made a good living on her own, the sassy grandma blamed the defendant for the whole messy situation. You don't understand the struggle, but I know you got to work at it. Ain't nobody just going to give you nothing. And there's no reason for me to just accept a child when he was five months old when I got the Facebook message. Well, about that not knowing part, mm. turns out that Mr. Lee was hiding the child from his mother because he wasn't sure if he was the father. Damn. But this didn't sit well with Miss Longshore. Hey, you were tagged in my sonogram before you deleted me. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, never had Deontay me. Deontay was. Never had Yes, I did. What's his name? Deontay. Order. Let's get order in here. Order in the court. Order in the court. Order in the court. Order in the court. Young baby wow. mama was very vocal about being <laughs> so young baby for the mama. existence of a child. She's gotta love and She it. wasn't the only one who played a part in bringing the baby into the world, which sounded very valid. He better, he needs to stop acting like he didn't like me back because you was telling everybody at school that you liked me. Stop acting like, like it's just me, dude. Don't try to put when a front I, on when the court. Her, Don't I do it. Her. You uh -huh. can't shut she down. Was, she, Don't do she, it. Hearing that makes us feel bad for the baby mama. She was mm. just being young and dumb. 
And now she was the only one looking out for the Saying infant. It in a nice way. Miss Johnson was not ready to slow down. She got her mommy rage on like this. I ain't had no problem with her until I got the Facebook message and I'm shaking inside. I'm working two jobs. You are completely right. You're, there's no wrong in you about it. And I know I made a mistake. That's and I did. your responsibility. And I am. Mama's baby, Papa's maybe, sweetie. And I am. I would know that that's my Man. grandchild. I'm sorry. Oh, you got to stand true. up that and do true. something or fall for everything. Hmm. Mama's mm. baby being Papa's may be brutal, but true. That's true. And it's even harder it's on the you're mom. the one stuck in the situation. The man can just easily wash their hands from their responsibilities. That's true, too. And mothers get stuck with another mouth to feed. Watch how these people are handling it. You gotta be stronger. You gotta... And I'm trying. Honey, you don't live where I live. You I don't, don't do what I do. You I don't, don't have what I have. You don't You don't have to go through what I go through, okay? You're an adult. I had a guy been homeless with my son mm -hmm. on the street. And so was I. Okay, so you should know where I come from. Exactly, and I got off when I did. You play mommy and daddy all with no problem. Really? I'm here for my son, really? not for me. All screaming Man, and real bleeding can just make someone lose their vocal cords in the courtroom. But they don't prove who the daddy is. Only the DNA does. So let's just cut it's this paternity chase bro. off. Mr. Lee, you are hating. Finally find a, uh, a poppy. I told you. Mama can't breathe. Oh, so Mama can't breathe. Don't let me say. The only thing about that is that I told you and all that. He's the second dude that mm -hmm. you you came at with this year. Yep. You know, I understand you you hoping yep. and praying that somebody is the child's father because you want to be able to have that. Hopefully, that financial help, not only just finances, but just that that father figure there. But don't go running around like you knew. You feel me? Yeah, kick your shoes off. I told you. Yeah, like come on, bro. He was number two, but mm -hmm. hopefully now he can step up. I know he's a kid, and the other the mom didn't really want him to go through that. But at the end of the day. Hey, that's his his lesson he gonna have to learn. You know what I'm saying? You did as much as you could to keep him out of that lifestyle. He just wanted to get into it anyway, being hard headed. Doing certain mm -hmm. acts will cause this to happen. So yep. they gotta learn from it. No matter how much we try as parents to to shield them from that, they're gonna have to learn ultimately on their own. So but yeah, hopefully they, you know, cleared away for this situation. Deontay, set your, your mother down. Sit down, mama. Sit down. Sit down. Now <laughs> <laughs> Being ignored by your own father can scar you for life. And false paternity just makes things worse. After 28 when years. When no bleeding can get you your family's validation, Damn. a DNA test is your only option. Let's watch how this has been affecting Miss Jones's life. Yeah, I felt okay. unwanted and lonely and uh, invisible. Wow. It was definitely painful to watch a grown woman cry in mid-trial like that. But the defendant, on the other hand, seemed to lack any compassion for the girl at the podium because he claimed that he always knew that he wasn't the father. Honor, when I was with her, I was always protected, and I made sure that. Oh. And then when she says it must have burst my protection, which I knew it did not. But we all know even birth control is not 100% effective. Next, right. the judge called the plaintiff's mother, who was sure that Mr. Jones was the only possibility. She even told the court that the guy at the podium was a total deadbeat which the alleged father testified against. Well, why, when she went down there to file for child support, when they asked who the father was, well, the lady told her, said, if you can't tell us who the father is, you cannot get support. But what happened is, then all of a sudden she hesitated, and then she said Jerome Jones. What you felt like all these years was that she wasn't completely honest during that time. Exactly. And you paid support all these years. Yes, I had. Listening to such revelations is for sure the hardest. Whereas Mr. Jones told the judge that it was the mother of the plaintiff who planted the seed of doubt by her hesitance to name him as the father of the birth certificate. If you really felt like that, you could have came up with the money and had that DNA test done. Mm. Everything else is irrelevant. Then why did this you child... leave? That is After true. this, Ms. Jones' mother told the court that she once took her daughter to Mr. Jones's family mm. reunion, 50, even 000? though they were That's never invited. Money. Which ticked the judge hard. Now, the million dollar question is, why didn't you invite her? I don't know if I didn't, I, I cannot remember. If if I had or not, I don't remember. Wow, how could how someone skip that? such an important thing? So, both mommy and daddy were Dude. nothing with one another until the defendant came into the being. If you think that's too much, wait till you hear that Miss Jones is a result of infidelity. We were on the outs. But Terry took upon herself to even call her, my wife, to let her know <gasps> she was having my baby. I certainly did. She owned it. Did you know he was married when you slept yes. with him? Yes, yes. ma'am, I did. And so you wow. felt like his wife should know you no were better. having a baby? Yes, ma'am, I did. Either way, it was not the plaintiff's fault, was it? Why nope. should she pay for other people's actions? 
Exactly. This fact had to be articulated by someone. So, Mommy did the honors. Let me tell you something I need to do. Your Honor, excuse me just a minute. But love to me is an action word. If you loved her, you would have been there for her. You can't say that you love her, so shut up. I gave Damn. you her phone number. If she changed it, I gave you her number. You lost her number because you didn't want her lost. number. It was in my phone. With that all said, it was really draining to watch young women paying the price of others' wrongdoings. The only call left was to move on to the conclusive part of this Both trial. Both of y'all was garbage. Hopefully, it'll bring Miss Jones the closure she's longing for. Both Mr. Y'all Jones, was garbage. you are not Lakeisha's father. So he I paid know that's not the things you wanted. Are you okay? Yes, Honor. We say. Run me my money. <laughs> you okay, my? You uh uh. Run me my money, fam. I need my fifty k. <laughs> so, so we gonna figure it out, Miss. Cause you knew I was married and you wanted to call my wife and tell her that we was doing mm -hmm. something. You was supposed to keep that on the no, hell no, she wasn't he wasn't supposed to do that. She was. No. Dang. Because that's a child involved. You gotta take the responsibility. But it wasn't mine. But at first And I'm out of 50k. We don't even know if he's still married. Well, to she this never lady. cheated, first of all. That's his fault. You're right. So shame on him. In this courtroom, so he the only the one got to pay DNA yeah. to be a father, but it takes love to be a daddy. That's One awkward conversation had led this couple. To say, I just want you to know that you're not mine, <laughs> and I'm about to figure out how to get my 50k back. Because <laughs> <laughs> your mama, she was out there, and she wasn't supposed to tell you're my wife, stupid. but she did. Mm -mm. Now it's time. To pay. Get my money. <laughs> <laughs> the edge of despising each other. And now they're just stuck going around in circles and denying. This leads people to paternity court. And once you get there, FYI, a lot of skeletons will get taken out of the closet. Why is he denying paternity? Uh, he flip flops. One day this is his daughter, the next day it isn't, and I'm tired. I'm irritated. It's to the point that it shouldn't be caught for. If this is going to be your baby, be your baby 24 7. Don't go back and forth. Yeah, Valid mom. point. Nobody should get yep. to play around when it comes to paternity like that. <laughs> However, the defendant He's claimed that Miss Brule's constant lying is why he doubted it. The guy even had a, an exhibit uh, to explain point? his I mean, assertions. Uh, uh, so girl. Mm -hmm. it comes out of the blue and was like, whoa, wait a minute, pause. No, that's not, that's not his baby, that's my brother's baby. Mm -hmm. A guy who goes above and beyond to do all of this at, and for then a find out he's still the daddy. For hmm. a presentation, mm -mm. I hope you are. <gasps> Not the presentation. Usually, thing. when they do all that, they say the father. The, yeah. Like, whoa, wait a minute. Why would this girl come out of the blue and claim that this is her brother's baby just like this? So I have my doubts that this is my child. He told the court that mommy had two phones to lead her guile lifestyle, which was quite an accusation. But the plaintiff had no shame about her game. So she explained herself like that. I say he's not allowed to have your no. main number and he's no. the father oh, no, of no. your child. We're gonna go to why he can't have my main number. Mr. Dixon ran off to Alabama when his daughter was one, one month old, to say he was working. He wasn't working. You, I you wanna know to how Alabama she yeah, yeah, a job. Oh no, no. To make more money. On processing of the trial, it was revealed that the defendant was the one who was sleeping around and making babies. Still, he was bummed why his name was skipped from the birth certificate. But yeah, I'm not on the birth certificate. You weren't the there when she was born. What you mean? Excuse, but yeah, you we wasn't talking there. about me putting myself on the uh, birth I certificate. Mean, and I even came up with money to change her last name. But you kept pushing it off. But you so sure this is my child. Why is you instead of pushing it off? Because you don't do And I'm coming up with her. money to privilege. change her name to my name. Well, this did seem a bit odd. What drags someone to court if you won't let them get listed as a father? Right. In the plaintiff's defense, deadbeat dads do not deserve their names to be listed. Um, but hmm, the notion seems out of spite, doesn't it? I was gonna get a change. Mr. Dixon ran right back off to <laughs> Alabama. Lies. Oh, you, you did? Time. I didn't leave. You weren't there for a week. You was there the first week of her life, Mr. Dixon. I didn't leave back to Alabama until so much later. <laughs> After this, the suspect claimed that he was looking for a chance to set things right, from changing the name to trying to be there for the kid. He was the only one putting an effort. But baby mama washed down these claims like this. When me and Mr. Mama. Dixon are on good terms, he's daddy of the year. Me and him fall out, Gaia doesn't exist. And that's what infuriates me more than anything. I don't care how you feel about me. Why? Why do you My lie? baby did not deserve that. I don't care how you feel about me. Hmm. Good point, mama. No child deserves to be played around the with commentary. like that. <laughs> only if people had the mama. heart to act good as real grown-ups. No baby would go around taken for granted. Let's see if the baby girl is getting her full-time daddy 
or not. Mr. See. Dixon, you are the father. Okay, there you go. What I say? You yeah, feel relieved, Miss Cruel? The, the presentation. <laughs> How do you feel, Mr. Dixon? I'm excited. Mr. Gale's so swindling in his marriage excited. has caused paternity havoc in his life, and it's led to the point that today's DNA result shows he was the Ernest. father. He hey. surely will lose his wife. But with that said, let's move to the plaintiffs. Miss Percy. Yes. Why do you think Mr. Gale is denying your daughter because of his wife i don't know why she won't let this man be a man and be he with his children he he needs tight. to spend he time with his children never stop me from seeing any of my kids the defendant testified Damn, that he had no he idea got? about the potential daughter until she was 15 years old is he sitting mm -hmm. down oh no he's standing up years old <laughs> so he and his wife took the whole thing as a like joke a Wait, is he sitting down yeah it's a little chair there yeah he's sitting down even the chair disappeared <laughs> To articulate such claims, it leads to verbal rifts. Way before she was Never. 15. Knock it off. Wait, I should yeah, you knock it off. You knock it off and let crazy. this man be a father That's to my his husband. kids. I can say what I want to say. You knock it off. This is my husband. I don't care. That's your I don't want and your husband. Right. 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 You get your life, man. Yeah, because I get Ugh, people, you are in the courtroom. There's a judge at the altar. And frankly, it's not about your marriage or your affair. It's about Miss Glenn. Let yeah. her speak her mind. I may not have you had are. a father, but I'm somebody. Yeah. I don't have no problem with her. She's laughing and giggling like it's a joke. And it's not a joke. You know, kids grew up with their fathers. I did it. She and that's like it's my mama's fault. Because at the end of the day, when I was 15, when I was two, when I was too much. People have had a lot to say about you today. Yeah, I'm a villain. After this, photographs were taken to examine if there were genetic similarities between the plaintiff and the defendants. Ooh. However, even this whim wasn't convincing enough for the Gales. It's tough either they way. They were persistent about their claims. You still feel like you see a resemblance. Yep. Mr. And Gale, do you see a resemblance? All I, can, all I can see is the DNA test. Whoa, uh, whoa, that's how you feel? When I sit here, I mean, that's Y'all going too hard on my wife. That's crazy, and man. I got my wife back. Yeah, I got my wife I'm back. Done. I'm but don't worry about that. I'm doing it if it is. I'm just going to leave y'all life alone. What was happening in the courtroom was just a glimpse of what Miss Glenn had to go through her whole life she wasn't granted an ounce of compassion Damn. instead she was treated like a fool it's but like you're not drunk. i know oh. that i know that but it's somebody else making me feel like i'm not nothing i belong here i'm done i graduated high school without a father i'm in college i have four children my kids don't Dang. even know him hold on now. damn i was finna start yeah. clapping but god damn Okay. Mm. You got four kids. And she's in college? Okay. Right. right, like that. Let's go. We're not ones to judge because we're going on four. Yeah, we are, but we're married. We're also 31. And been married for almost 10 years. About to be 31. I mean, 30, 31, about to be 32. She said, I got four kids and I'm How in college. How old is she? That's what I'm, I, I missed it. I'm pretty sure they said yeah. the age at one point in time. But damn. Nah, they ain't put it there. Let's let's play that back. Make me feel like I'm not nothing. I belong here. I'm okay. done. I graduated high school without a father. I'm in college. I have four children. My kids don't even know him. Whether he's not my dad or not. This past year, I have lady, so that much nose. love for him. All of the back and forth had taken a toll on the plaintiff. And the irony okay, was well. that there was no hope of them changing. The only hope in this situation was DNA proof. Up and sitting down? Okay. Let's see if that envelope is hiding something good for her or not. Mr. Gale, you are not her father. I hear me, boo. Holler at your girl. What, what you talking? <laughs> no. <laughs> did she? Did he say tell him what you talking? Oh. Damn. Nah, all right. Nah, I get it. Like, okay, y'all, you you was right in this situation. Mm -hmm. Y'all won. But damn, you ain't got to do the girl like that, man. She graduated high school. It don't father. even matter. She's in college. She I blame the mom. Kids. I blame the mom. Yeah, she quiet now. Because she put that in that daughter's hair. That's wild, fam. Mm -hmm. To do all that and then be wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's like this girl. I mean, I feel for her still because she still don't know who her father is. And again, that's the parent's fault, man. This mm -hmm. is what happened I said I when you're a mom. parent who don't, you know, do what you're supposed to do. Because, yo, you know what? Your kids end up suffering at the end of the day. And I hope and pray that her four kids know their father. Ooh. I hope she don't appear back on paternity court for but a sequel. Yeah.
Well, like, open the situation they, was DNA they clapped proof. It, like, game Let's see five if that envelope or something. is hiding something good for her or not. Sir Gail, mm, you are it? not her father. Hey, uh, boo. Holler at your girl. <laughs> what, what you talking? <laughs> No problem. Yeah. I'm glad. You glad? Yes, I am. Duh. I've always been glad. You Listen, thought you was going to have Mr. Gale. Oh, please. I can't hear any more of oh, this. Oh, wait. Go She's back. suffering, bro. What did he say? Hold on, bro. I just went straight into another video. I didn't ask for this. What? Hold on, fam. Let me hear that ending one more time. That mm. ending was something else, boy. You know you wanted this. Mm. You thought you was going to get all of this back. <laughs> Wait, let me see. All of this sit down and can't get up back. <laughs> her father. I hear me, boo. Holla at your girl. What, what you talking? <laughs> no problem. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm glad. You glad? Yes, I am. Duh. I've always been glad. You <laughs> thought you was going to have Mr. Gale. Oh, please. I can't hear any more of this. <laughs> and she was crying and stuff, man. Oh, man. Because that's embarrassing. That is very embarrassing. Now who is she mad at? She got to be mad at the mama at this point. Yeah, because, she brought her there. Yeah, she did all that. Put her since she was a kid. Now let's go chase the next dude down they've been, and bring him to paternity court. Yeah, they've been chasing down that family. And she got four kids at home. Yeah. So you trying to make somebody your granddaddy. Some random dude is out here as a granddad and don't even know it. <sighs> of four. That's crazy, bro. Well, I feel so bad for her. These are some dangerous moments, bro. <laughs> These were definitely some dangerous moments. <laughs> What's it? Mm, who did it? Mm. Give it here. Mm -hmm. Ain't mine. <laughs> she sent the picture trying to look like me, but she ain't mine. Damn, homie. What you talking? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll be lit too, though, the girl. I would. Yeah. Because we don't have a whole issue. Yeah. I don't uh, even think you'll be with me. You know I'm a little. Come on, man. I don't got it all, so. Yeah, I know. I will burn the whole shit down, so. Not paternity. More like first 48-ish? Yeah. Oh, we won't be on paternity. Gordon. Not paternity. Mm -mm. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> but hey man if y'all enjoyed that video it's getting dangerous in here uh make sure you <laughs> people say they cough when they grow uh make sure you run up the likes subscribe man if y'all want to do some more of these y'all know these are some of our favorite videos so make sure you run up the likes subscribe let us know what else we need to be checking out man we're back to y'all with the uh uploads man trying to get these daily boys out here for the summer uh no we got a lot going on but we either oh, gonna be vlogging God, yes or recording so we're gonna be doing either one going back and forth mm -hmm. since you guys are enjoying both so continue to support us we love you road to 100k 100k we on the Let's get this mug. Peace out. Peace. So we ever wanted. Go and stack it by the honey. This is all we ever wanted.